How do you like the weather, guys? Love it. Yes. I love having elevator conversations when the weather's like this because yeah. people are literally thanking me for days like this. I'm like, I'll take credit. That's cool. <laughs> it's just so nice, and it stays this way all weekend, even into next week. But then the pattern does. Oh, uh, here it comes. Yeah, I know. Oh, here you're comes come bad to a very news. screeching halt. Exactly. I mean, at some point, I gotta cut you off from this. So yes, you can only sweet. have so much of a good thing, right? Exactly. But it looks really nice up until that point. I, I would feel like at least the timing's on our side. We do have the sunshine through the rest of the day as well as through the weekend, even into Monday when you're maybe not so jazzed about having to head back to work and school. At least it's still quiet. Then things go downhill. But let's start with the good news, shall we? We'll get you outside, show you what's going on with storm skin, which frankly ain't a heck of a lot. Haven't seen much going on out here in the last few days, and you certainly will not through the weekend either. So let's move on. Actually, I'll show you this wide zoom first. We've started to see some moisture getting drawn in from the Gulf of Mexico across eastern Texas. So Dallas, Houston getting hit with that. But no storm really showing any sign of organization just yet. That will change certainly in the days ahead. But high pressure is still anchored overhead for us. Anywhere really east of the Mississippi, it is just completely quiet for now. And that really means you've got just gorgeous conditions outside when we go to any of our different cameras in the field. 67 is the temperature at Kutztown Area Middle School right now. Not one cloud to be found in that skyline here early this afternoon. And that'll be how it is the rest of the day. Already we are into the low and mid 70s in a handful of spots. Still flirting with it in Allentown and Trenton. 69 in Lancaster, but 70 even at the airport. And we think we've got probably about four more degrees up our sleeve before the afternoon is said and done. Upper 60s as well from Willow Grove to Doylestown about Holly and the list goes on where it's just comfortable outside. So hopefully you had the forethought to, if you've already been outside anyway, to walk out the door with a spare layer. But now as the afternoon progresses, you'll be able to shed that. Now you'll probably also notice the wind pit beginning to pick up too. That's something that is worth just touching on quickly here. It's not a major risk, but especially for the eastern half of our area, because we've got such low relative humidity and because we do have that more noticeable breeze, be smart about tossing cigarette butts. If you're going to go to the, you know, maybe to grill out here this evening, don't leave the grill unattended. Just be really smart since that fire risk is just a little elevated. Dropping down to 52 tonight under an all clear sky, and that theme continues for us, as we mentioned, looking ahead to the weekend. Now, if you are watching this forecast and about ready to hit the road to head out, to 322 and uh, on your way to Happy Valley. It is looking good for that big game against Michigan here on Saturday evening. 60 degrees. You could not ask for more perfect football weather at the end of October, no less, out in Center County. So it looks really good. Meanwhile, the Union have their last home match on Sunday down in Chester and at Talon Energy, Energy Stadium. It will be just lit up in that full sunshine for yet another day. Perfect weather all weekend long, whether you're going to any of those games or just hanging out in the back deck. Why not? Mid upper 70s right through the weekend with that sunshine lasting us even right through Monday. Then you've got Monday night football to talk about. So this is when we start to see the atmosphere shift somewhat. Monday night, I think we're primarily just going to see clouds building. We should stay dry at this point. It looks like we stay dry for the football game. But Tuesday, well, time to dust off the umbrella. It looks like not just a rainy day, but a soggy one at that uh, with some pretty heavy rounds of rain, I think, coming along and that could really happen anytime. Okay. So enjoy the weekend. Indeed. Okay. Thank you, Katie. Mm -hmm.